Hello and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to see how we can use an Angular drive to create an interactable lever that automatically snaps to the point when we let go. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. So in the scene, we have our basic object set up already. Just a simple lever consisting of this lever base, which is just a sphere. And then the lever handle, which is just this bar made out of a cylinder and the cap made out of a capsule. So what we're going to do is start off by turning our lever handle into our Angular Drive. So we go to Window, Tilia, Interactions, Controllable Creator, and then select the appropriate Angular Drive that we want. Again, I'm just going to use the Angular Transform Drive and click Convert. And then we can close this window down. And we can see that has now turned into the Angular Transform Drive Prefab. And then we just need to change some of the settings on our Angular Drive facade to set this up. We can see by default our lever hinge is a little bit too high, which means this lever would rotate around this point. So we're going to move the hinge down and a value of minus 0.2 puts our hinge location at a decent position. The next thing we want is not to have this lever rotate forward and backwards, but we're going to have it rotate left and right. So that's going to go through the Z axis. So we just need to change our drive axis to Z. And we can see that's changed our hinge now so it will go through that forward direction and now all i need to do is set the limits of how far this lever can be pulled in either direction so on the drive limits i'm just going to set this to minus 50 to 50. and finally what we're going to do with this lever is when we release it anywhere near a certain end point we want it to snap to that end point i'm going to have three positions on this lever i'm going to have this off position a central position and an on position and we can do this easily using the step range. So if I say this is zero, this is one, and this is two, that gives me three step increments. So if my step range is zero to two with an increment of one each, all I need to then do is click the snap to step on release. And what that will do is when we release it, if it's not quite at a step value, the drive will automatically push to that value. We want that to go quite fast. So I'm going to just increase the drive speed. I'm going to put that from 10 to about 200. And that's it we've set up our lever let's jump into the scene and see that working so now we're in the scene we can see our lever and if we grab our lever and we rotate it we can see it's following the rotation of our controller and then when we release the lever if it's near one of those snap points it will snap to that location so we don't have to get it perfectly into the right position and there we go we've set up our angular drive to replicate a lever i hope this video has been useful to you if it has please consider subscribing to the youtube channel Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Consider becoming a VRTK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.